so here i'll give you an overview of an mvp model mvp design mo mvp design pattern so what is mvp design pattern is all about so i'll take a example of login so how you will implement a login using mvp design pattern so right now for this uh, for first video uh, I'll, I'll continue in the parts of uh, videos the complete series that is mvp pattern I'll go in more depth of MVP pattern so for the first uh, video I'll keep uh, let's keep model aside and focus on the view and the presenter okay so I'll start I'll start a project I'll create a project that is a uh, I'll name it as um, login no test MVP design pattern pattern so I'll give you more uh, depth of MVP, MVP design pattern is what is this all about okay so I'll select the domain name whatever the domain name okay uh, I'll select this domain name not whatever and uh, then okay API level is 15 and okay the empty act hotel select and finish so it's creating a project for me okay so this is what my project is my main activity okay so here is my main activity uh, this is my view exactly okay so I'll start with the view so I'll design one I quickly design login screen okay so I'll convert it to linear layout okay. the orientation will be So before starting a layout, let's focus. As I, as I told you, we'll focus on the view and the presenter. So this will be my view, the main activity, and uh, there there should be a class named as presenter. So instead of main, I'll log in as log. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll rename the main as login refactor, and rename as login activity. Okay, and I'll create the login. I'll create the class as login presenter. Okay, so this is my presenter is. Okay, so here you can see that this is my view and this is my presenter is. Okay, so as you can see from the, I'll show you the diagram. Okay, so my presenter will update my UI okay and my view will provide the user actions to the presenter so my presenter is responsible for all the business logic okay so we'll keep uh, we'll uh, just ignore this model for now okay and we'll focus on view and present okay so let's go on so my view uh, now we'll design the view class this is my view and we'll design our view so there will be so generally for edit text i use edit as a prefix so that i get to know uh, it's easy to find the edit text edit username i'll give the hint as enter username okay and after that Create its match parent with this match parent height is weapon 10. Hint is enter password and I'll give the input type as password that is text password. Okay, uh, so these are my two input fields. And I'll give the button for login wrap content text as login I need to give the item for button I start as a btn I give the prefix as btn okay so this is my screen and for to look it better I'll give it a padding of 20 dp okay so it looks nice now okay great <coughs> we'll move ahead 
so this is what my view is looking okay now we'll go to my activity and here I'll give the references edit username edit edit password okay and <coughs> button button login okay so I'll just bind it with the view I'll give the references to these variables that is edit text find view by the r dot id dot edit username same is for my edit password edit password and btn login that is done find view by the button login okay so i'll do one thing now for the user action that is button login there will be a click event so i'll need to give the click event okay so I'll, the class who is going to implement the interface of on click so i'll implement on click okay and then it implements this on click event okay this is what my on click event is so we just get the id of the view who is calling so basically depending upon the id i'll call the different methods so r dot id case is r dot id dot button login okay so here i'm going to the here i'm going to get the user action login user action okay <clears throat> so here it is my user action so okay we are done from the view side we are okay so now we'll look we'll go into the presenter class so for the presenter we'll need to first uh we'll need to pass obviously uh, presenter will get a uh, presenter will get a view is going to implement this contractor which login presenter is going to uh, declare okay so this is my view I'll create a constructor of login presenter and here I'll get a view who is implementing my presenter or basically a contract So I'm done. Now I'll diff. I see <coughs> from here. Now, uh, as we are deciding, as we are declaring the presenter inside the view, so I'll pass the view object to the presenter, and I'll be having this presenter's reference. So I'll pass the user actions to the presenter. But how presenter is going to interact with view is like. We need to define a con we need to define a contractor for that using contractor using contract not contractor using contract presenter will uh, presenter will interact with the view so I'll show you how so this is what my interface is on contract so I'll name it as view and then okay so what my presenter is going to give it a call by like callback as public void navigate to detail screen okay okay like first user will give an action to for the presenter as suppose on the click of login button it will pass user as login action so we'll define click login public void login it will pass two parameter as username password okay so login this method login this is what my user action is okay on behalf of my this login my presenter will give in a callback of either navigating to detail screen or it can give an error so I will write public 
void error string message okay so this is what my contract is okay so now view who is going to implement this uh, so the uh, the view needs to implement this contract so i'll implement sorry login presenter dot view so here we implement these methods okay and here we define a variable that is login presenter login presenter equals to new login presenter and will pass an object who is implementing that contract so my login activity is implementing my login presenter dot view so that's why i'm passing it as a uh, this variable so, okay uh, so on okay so we are done from this side now we'll pass the login as this uh, our diagram saying that if you will pass the user actions to the presenter okay so on click of login button we should pass the login action to presenter so here login presenter dot login we are passing the username dot get text dot to string edit password dot text dot to string okay so this is what my user action is now on error i need to tell user what the error is okay just okay hmm. error error message okay and here for a while i'll show i'll show you that like here i need to implement the navigation logic so instead of that i'll show you the toast here that navigating to digital screen So as the name suggests, I'll navigate it to the data screen. Okay. So okay. Uh, now I'm passing the user action to the login. So here I'll check in the presenter whatever my business logic is. Here I'll implement the business logic. So for a while, I'll create I'll hard code. Right now we are not using any model file. So here that's why I'm, I'll hard code the username and password. Okay. So I'll string basically for any local string variables i started with str well, abc cbn okay this is what my password is and this this is my username sorry abc is my username and cba is my password okay so i'll check if my username matches my username predefined username and then my password matches with the predefined password then i tell my view to navigate else I tell my view I'll give an error to my view that is invalid invalid credentials okay so in this we are done so see you can see here I have written all the business logic in my presenter and my view doesn't have any business logic my view is doing only interact interacting with the presenter and my presenter is interacting with the view using the contract okay this contract login presenter okay so now we'll run the application and we'll see the output okay oh 
okay my application is running so here i'll enter any username and password it says that invalid credential see okay now i'll enter write password and invalid username it says invalid credential i'll write i'll add i'll give right username and wrong password so it says invalid credential now write username write password cba it says navigating to data screen okay so that's that is what mvp so right now i just give you an overview of vp instead of mvp we'll add an m in the next video okay till now you just continue watching the videos and i'll give you a brief about the mvp pattern uh thank you guys thank you